Everyone feels my coming at ya. The next sets of videos on the channel are going to be about Ethereum and Unity and being able to put those together to actually make a WebGL MetaMask enabled game. And I think there's really honestly a lot that you can do when you bring Ethereum and cryptocurrency into the gaming space. And that's why I've been really excited to play around with kind of those technologies and see where are the limits and what are the things that you could actually build. But while I'm getting those videos ready, I wanted to kind of put together this very quick video on NFTs and just kind of address the fad, if you will. So real quick, NFTs, they stand for non-fungible tokens. What that really means is in simple layman's terms is that it's supposed to be a representation of something unique that you can prove that you have ownership of. You can contrast this to say with stocks or with Bitcoin where you have a surplus of these different tokens and each token is typically identical to one another. Honestly, NFTs is something I'm pretty bullish on. If you've watched any of our other videos on the channel, especially around ownership and kind of the Facebook ecosystem that I put out a couple months ago, that's basically what an NFT is. Or at the very least, that's how NFTs are being used today, if I'm being completely transparent. But the idea being that you could own a, a sword in a game and you physically own it, you can actually take it to different games, you can add your own experience on top of whatever this virtual asset is, and you can physically claim onto it. I, I love that concept. I think it makes a ton of sense, especially in this kind of weird transitional phase that we've gone through recently with mobile gaming in particular and, and freemium games where you're paying for virtual goods, but you don't actually own them, which has never made any sense to me whatsoever. And it really does bring ownership back into your player's hands and into the broader ecosystem. And I think there's so much creative things that you can do with that. But all of this is kind of long term. And to be frank, none of that technology really exists today. And to that end, I kind of think NFTs are going through a fad that we kind of saw happen similarly, and it seems like history is repeating itself with 2017 and the crypto boom and quote unquote bust, if you will, where at that time, CryptoKitties happened to launch kind of towards, I think, the tail end of the initial crypto boom back in 2017. And that was the first NFT. I mean, practically speaking, where these kitties were literally selling for, for millions of dollars, but then, of course, come the bust, no one's buying them up and they're trading for, for practically dollars, right? So I think the same thing is going to happen to NFTs, especially because people don't seem to be understanding the value proposition. So, I mean, you're, you're seeing NFTs made from literally everything that's out there, from, from digital art to tweets and like Elon Musk selling a tweet. And the, the funny part is everyone is so fixated on this notion of it has to be tied to some, some digital component when, when the, the truth of the matter is there's really no such distinction. Really, when you're buying that tweet from Elon Musk, you're buying basically his signature. It's kind of almost the same as if he signed a piece of paper and gave it to you and he only made a couple hundred of them, right? Like that, that's where the value is coming from. It's not from the tweet. It's actually coming from who is the original signer, the original uh, authenticator. I think there's a lot of power in that. But the, the flip side of that is also anyone can create multiple of those really easily. Elon Musk uh, on a dime can create thousands of those, hundreds of thousands of those, millions of those. And that really basically means that it's not actually an NFT. It's realistically just another token. And there's nothing wrong with that, but that's not really traditionally what an NFT means. And yet the NFT space is exactly in this conflated situation where you have people who are trying to create actual NFTs and people like Elon Musk and Logan Paul who are selling 
basically their signature and claiming that they're NFTs. And so you've, you've got this really weird fad that seems to be going on and kind of as is the case with most fads, it goes away. But that's that exactly is what I think the analogy to, to 2017 is so valuable. Yes, I think what we're seeing right now is a fad in the NFT space, but I think long term, as I kind of talked about earlier, there's so much potential for what you could do, especially in the context of gaming and building out a metaverse and being able to take whatever you create in VR chat and move that over to Rec Room or or vice versa, or I mean, build that into another application. I, I think the, the work that's happening over on Engine Token, uh, which I'll probably dedicate a separate video to down the road because I think they're doing some amazing work. Uh, yes, their token has spiked up in value in a lot, but I also think it's a little overpriced. But that aside, I think they're, they're doing some really awesome work around scaling, around making actual NFTs accessible and making them integratable within the context of so many different platforms. And that I think is where the power is going to come from, but that's several years down the road. I don't, I don't think we're, we're anywhere near making kind of that metaverse concept of being able to pull different assets and actually own things across different games or reality. But ultimately, I think that's re really where the true value comes from. That's my take. That's why I'm, I think this is very much uh, still in its infancy stages of development, which I think is really, really exciting. I think there's still a ton to be learned. I'm still learning a ton myself. I hope you guys are as well. And I think looking into the development and seeing how to be able to integrate them is something I'm really excited about, especially in the context of, of, of Unity and Ethereum and and potentially many other blockchains that might decide to rise up in prominence. So time will tell how that plays out. I'm excited to see how it plays out, but I don't think that the, I think this, the, the current thing that we're seeing right now is pretty much a fad that we'll probably do this, coast for a little bit, everyone will forget about it, and then it'll slowly start to rise up again in probably a couple of years. But that's just my take. Would love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This has been Fuse Man, and I'm signing out.